Tell us about these tall whites they're seeing in Ontario and in other parts of the planet. I don't know if you know about this, but these tall whites have been seen in public. Mm -hmm. Sure. Is that an extraterrestrial? Yeah, believe? yeah. My understanding is they're a hybrid. Um, they're a, a, a Terran extraterrestrial hybrid that was created to be an intermediary species. Mm -hmm. So the species, the originator species, created a hybridization so that the hybrids could communicate and associate with us in a way that was more separate by the original species. So uh, from a, my understanding, it's a, a one of the offshoots of the, of the Zeta reticulans and that they created a human Zeta hybrid that are again, these tall whites that are an intermediary for them. And what is their position here, you think? I've been told um, it's mixed. So I've been told that in some cases they're very helpful, but I've also been told in some cases that they can be a-holes uh, without, you know, trying to be more descriptive than that. So it's, it's, um, it's not very black and white. They, 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 can, they can be friendly, but apparently they're kind of, be, kind of hypersensitive. And so you can find yourself, you know, on the wrong end of a, a beam weapon if you offend them or step on someone's toes or step in their pat the wrong way or, or standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. They have some weird social protocols that my understanding people who interact with them on a regular basis have to be very clearly briefed upon uh, or serious injury could befall them. What are they doing here? My understanding for the most part uh, is helping to bring us some more advanced technology while, again, getting something in return. And most of the Zetas, what they really seem to want are some of our DNA so that they can regain some connection to their spiritual consciousness. They've evolved so intellectually far from that, that rather than, oh, let's spend the next 10,000 years meditating and spiritually evolving ourselves, they're like, well, actually, we are masters of genetics. Why don't we just find a species that's more spiritual, borrow their DNA, and become more spiritual by hybridizing ourselves? So it's, a, it's not necessarily an evil intent, it just often is conducted in a way that is not um, thoughtful or compassionate. So sometimes people have these negative experiences and think that maybe they're being evil or harmed. It's really just kind of a lack of consideration. It's not that they hate us or want to harm us. They just don't necessarily have the same compassion or consideration uh, to our suffering or discomfort. So they really just see the goal of the agenda of acquiring, you know, this genetic material, being able to uh, successfully fuse it with their own DNA in order to create these hybrid children who they see as this really this next evolutionary step for them. They would like to see their current genetic uh, existence disappear completely and for them to completely transfer and transform themselves into this new hybridized species that they've been constructing. So it's a very interesting way to think of that a species goal is to actually extinct themselves by creating a different evolutionary line and taking that line and then extincting the line that they're on because they realize they're just on the wrong track.